pie today and I'm excited because I haven't made an apple pie in years oh, the shame but we are going to be following Tasty's apple pie recipe and it is apple pie from scratch however we're not going to be doing it from scratch we have Pillsbury to the rescue so I have two pie crusts here but I am going to be making the filling from scratch obviously so I thought I'd take you along let's do it all right first we have to peel the apples. I'm gonna move my ingredients out of the way that I set up so cutely. This is gonna take a little while, so we'll cut when I'm done with this. We'll come back. Okay, we have the apples are cut into little cubes. Sometimes people slice them. Not me. I'm not a slicer. Okay, we're gonna take three fourths cup of sugar, drizzle it all on the apples. I'm actually not gonna use the whole thing because I don't know if I use as many apples as they used. So I think that that should be enough sugar. I think so, I'm eyeballing it. And then, let's see what else it asks for. I've measured the things out. Two tablespoons of flour. <laughs> and we'll just leave a little bit extra. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon makes the house smell so good. And then we're gonna do one fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. We got a little bit of salt. Let me grab my salt. Sorry, I can't hold the bowl over this. And it's just like not even one, like an eighth of a teaspoon. So I just kind of sprinkle it in there. And now we're gonna squeeze half of a lemon into here. And this is what it's gonna make it all come together. Now we're gonna mix. It smells so good already. Apple pie is just one of those things that is comforting, especially around the holidays. Am I right? Okay, we're gonna add a little bit more sugar. I said so. It looks delicious. Yummy in the tummy. I could eat this like this. I think I say that every time I make an apple pie. Okay, so we have our um, oven preheating to 375. It's already preheated. And now I'm gonna roll out the pie dough. So let's do that. Okay, so we are going to roll out this pie dough and you want it to come up the sides of the pan. This is always my weak spot when it comes to baking a pie. I'm always afraid I'm going to break the pie crust. You just wanna push it on the sides here. If you need to crimp it over, that's fine too. I'm doing pretty good at this, actually. Shocked. We wanna make sure that it's just lined around the edges. Okay, and now we're gonna fill our pie. Now the reason I did less apples this time was because I really didn't want it to come up too high in the center and over spill, like over the sides. So a thinner apple pie is okay with me. Get all that yummy juices in there, all that. All those yummy juices in there. Perfect. And I just wanna kinda of lay it out in the pan. This is the perfect amount of apples. I'm very proud of myself. All right, we're just gonna sprinkle a smidge of sugar on top of that. Doesn't call for that, but I like to live on the edge. And then we are going to top off the pie with another ah, piece of dough. Don't break it. So now you want to kind of just pinch the edges together like so and I'm going to show you how to crimp it. Actually I'm going to try to crimp it. <laughs> See if I could do this. You want to just kind of put your finger here and then crimp the edge like that. It makes it look fancier. I don't know. What do you guys think? That works. You just want to make sure it's sealed otherwise it'll bubble up and explode out of the sides. And that's never fun. Okay, there we go. That looks absolutely terrible, but that's okay. 
Okay, we're gonna do just a little egg wash on top here. This is so it gets that nice brown crust. It's like painting a picture. Now this is gonna bake in the oven for about an hour. I'm gonna check on it at around 45 minutes though, just because it is, I'm using less apples. So now we are going to sprinkle a little sugar on top that will also caramelize and then it'll give it that golden crust. Yum, yum, yum. And then we're gonna take a knife and we're just gonna puncture the top so that it can release some air and so it doesn't explode in your oven because that would be bad. Yum, all right, in she goes and we'll check on it in about an hour. So while we're waiting for the apple pie to be done, which it should be done soon, I wanted to share with you guys a few apps that I've absolutely been loving, especially during this pandemic. One of the apps we are absolutely loving right now is Instacart. Instacart makes it so that we do not have to go to the grocery store in the middle of a pandemic, which is very convenient. <laughs> so it pulls up all the stores that you've shopped at before, but it also gives you some stores down here that you can shop at if you like. There's recently a ton of new stores on here due to the pandemic and stores not being able to be open. Um, so there's a ton there to choose from, and I feel like they're adding new ones every day. But the one we usually do the most is Costco. So if you click on Costco, it'll pull up your past sales here. Oh, let's click out of this little ad. So it says that your items um, that you've purchased are on sale, and then it also shows your items. Let's click on view more and go to your items because this is what I like to use the most. This feature allows me to see all of the recent purchases that I've purchased in the past and allows us to just go ahead and click through and reorder them again, which is really, really nice. This way I'm not spending any extra than I would have if I would have just went to the store with a list. Um, it helps you budget properly, I feel, but you can also wander around the store <laughs> on the app just like you can in real life. And you can also purchase some other stuff. So if you click on favorites, it, if you heart some of your items that you love, they'll pop up here. Um, if you need to search up something, let's see, you need to do eggs per se. You can click on there and then you can browse the egg category and it, where did it go? How about this? Search Costco, eggs. And then it'll pull up all the eggs that are available at Costco. So it's really, really easy. It's really convenient. You go to checkout and you can select a time. You can select a day that you want it there. It's really, really simple. We love this app. GoPuff is another app that we absolutely love. We actually just discovered this. And this is nice if you need something within 15 to 30 minutes, which is really fast. What GoPuff is, is they are a warehouse that stores all of these things on this app and a shopper goes and shops the warehouse, whereas Instacart is someone who goes to shop at all different types of stores. So this is really nice because they have a join the fam, never pay for delivery again, which is $5.95 a month and you can cancel any time. And I feel like people would take advantage of that. Like, I feel like we would probably order more than twice a month, which is really nice because, I mean, this also allows you not to have to go to the store. It's it's obviously more for snacks. I think that this was built more for snacks, but it also has some Bath and Beauty in here that you can check out, like if you're in, in, in the need of shampoo last minute or soap or dish soap, then you can also go over to other categories like home and office, where if you need last minute essentials like toilet paper, paper towel, a notepad for homeschool, whatever the case may be, um, they definitely have snacks, stuff for pets, stuff for baby, cleaning products. I think I even saw face masks on there, which uh, comes in handy. <laughs> um, but we absolutely love this app. It's, it's definitely an app that we think we're going to be varying towards uh, more so in the future because it's just... It's been fun to use and it's been nice to be able to have something here and at your door within 30 minutes, which is kind of hard to get with any other app. And the last app we absolutely love is 
DoorDash. Now, DoorDash is just like Uber Eats. It's also like Grubhub. There's a few other apps you can use, but we like DoorDash because we tend to see that they give us the most deals or they have the cheapest delivery fee. Now, this can change depending on which area you live in. Where we're at, we prefer DoorDash. We love the restaurants they offer. We got Wingstop, we got KFC, Wendy's, McDonald's. Now, Obviously, this is an app you want to use if you're just not feeling like cooking for the night. We tend to use this on the weekend (laughs) Um, when I don't feel like making anything. You can just pop over to DoorDash, order some food for the family, and it could be to you within like 20 to 40 minutes, give or take, depending on the restaurant. But we love DoorDash a lot. Be sure to check out those apps. We use them quite often and it helps to not go out if you don't have to go out. Okay, I think the apple pie is done. Let's go check it out. Voila. (laughs) Okay, this looks delicious, but as you can see, there are some spots on here where it kind of bubbled up. Now, if the pie was like up here with apples, that would have happened in more spots, but this will dry up and it'll just add deliciousness to this dish. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go out.